even with the oppressive conditions, the children of Israel had thoughts about Egypt. And they never remembered how they were beaten in Egypt. They talked about the food around the flesh pots, but not that they had to make bricks without straw. You know, we do that when we when we remember back and it's almost as if we look back on our life and see how much of a good time we had in sin. We don't think about we were on our way to hell. We don't think about that we were living our life without God. But what we do think about, boy, we used to have a time. I used to get right before I used to go, go to the club. I was already ready. And the church said, amen. amen. We remember what we used to drink and what we used to smoke, but we don't remember how sick in sin we were. And that's what was happening with the children of Israel. That's what was happening in Stephen's day. Even in Numbers 14, verse 3, listen at what they said. If only we had died in the land of Egypt, or if only we had died in this wilderness, why is the Lord bringing us into this land to die by the sword? Our wives and our children will become plunder. Wouldn't it be better for us to go back to Egypt? So they said to one another, let's appoint a leader and go back to Egypt. They didn't remember any of the things that were detrimental to them, but they just wanted to go back to oppression. They wanted to go back to Egypt. And this gives us some insight about our heart. Understand that the heart turns before your outward action turns. We turn away from God in our hearts before we ever turn away. And so now you have to start thinking, you have to start considering, you have to start pondering and realize what is it that I'm turning away from in my heart? What is it that I'm turning to as I'm turning away from God? Think about how you talk and how you, you, you murmur and complain. See, on one hand, you could hear their heart in their murmuring and complaining. So now consider yourself this morning. What is it that you murmur about at home when ain't no church folk around? What is it that you complain about within yourself? And when you start considering how you murmur and complain, just listen to what you say and you'll start realizing to whom you are turning. You'll start realizing, oh, you know what? I'm worshiping the world's view of success. That's why I can't give myself to God. I can't give myself to God because I want to be successful like the world says success looks. I want to look like the world looks. That's what you're saying. In your heart, you're turning back to you.